Let's examine what a constant function is through a simple example. Now we are given a function and told that this function is a constant function. We are asked to draw its graph. To solve this question, we need some preliminary information. Now René Descartes, the 17th century philosopher and mathematician, says in his book Geometry, written in 1637, I will use the letters X, Y, and Z, which come at the end of the alphabet for unknown quantities or variables, and I will use the first letters of the alphabet, A, B, and C, for constant numbers. Therefore, in this example as well, X represents the variable, and A represents the constant numbers here. This is about a so-called constant function. What is a constant function? Let me try to explain this with an analogy. When I was a child, no matter which hairstyle I described to the barber I went to, he would always cut the same style. At the same time, I would see that he always gave the same haircut to the other customers who came to that barber as well. We could call such a barber a constant function. In other words, no matter what you tell him, he will always do the same thing. Or you can think of it as a bad coffee machine. No matter what kind of coffee you put in, it always gives you the same coffee with the same taste. This is what we call a constant function. Now, let's apply this analogy to the expression here. Here, the haircut I described is actually the X here. So, when I change this part, I want that part to stay the same. For that part to stay the same, there must not be anything dependent on X. Because if I put different X's here, different numbers will come out here as well. And thus, the value of the expression will change, but it shouldn't change. This brings me to the following point. So, the coefficient of x here, which is a minus 6, must be equal to 0 so that I can get rid of this part and there is nothing dependent on x. So, from the equation a minus 6 equals 0, I find that a is 6. When I find a as 6, I automatically get rid of the expression here and then I say, let me substitute it here as well. So, I find this as 3. Thus, I know that g of x is equal to 3 and there you have a constant function. No matter what you substitute for x, it will always give you the number 3. Now we can go ahead and show this on the graph. On my graph, I mark the point here as 3. Now no matter what value I give, the value of my function here should always be 3 and so I draw my graph accordingly. Look, if I say cut this hair or cut that hair or cut the hair over here, it will always cut the same hair for me. And that's a constant function for you. If you have creative examples about constant functions, please don't forget to write them in the comments.